Hi everyone, so today I'm just going to do a um, haul for you guys. I'll do the beauty stuff first. Boots because I wanted to check out the um, Collection 2000 cream puffs that Lisa Eldridge talked about and I think her most recent video. And um, I ended up getting one in this sort of nude colour. And these are the Collection 2000 moisturising lip creams. They're called cream puffs. Um, there you go. Velvety cream puff, and it's really nice. It comes with this little applicator, and um, it's like a lipstick in a sort of cream form. And it's really nice, velvety finish. Not a gloss, not a lipstick. Sheerer than a lipstick, not sticky like a gloss, but really nice. Um, and then I don't actually have a new lip liner, so I went over to Rimmel London because I have a red one um, that I really like, and I found this one, and it's the Rimmel London Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Liner Definer, and this is the number 18 edition. There. And um, just twizzle it up like that, and I'll just swatch that next to the... Um, lipstick so that might, might make quite a nice little combo um, so the cream puff collection 2000 cream puff was 2 99 and the lip liner was 3 99 and then also I needed to get a uh, new VO5 surf spray and I cannot find it anywhere I can't find it normally I would just get it when I order my groceries um, I would get I would order it on there um, but they didn't have it, they've been out of stock for it for ages, and then I went in Superdrug, they didn't have it, I went in Boots today, they don't have it, so I think maybe it's no more. So then I was looking at all different ones, and I just decided on this one for some reason, because it was sort of mid-price range, um, and it's the Lee Stafford Beach Babe Sea Salt Spray, and um, it was 7 49 so I'll let you guys know how how sort of well this compares to the VO5 one. I think the VO5 one's cheaper, but what can you do? Then I went to Primark, um, and when I spoke to you guys about my, um, when I did my costume jewelry collection video, I did speak about this like dear um, necklace that I was thinking about, and the ring, and then I think I saw a Dorsa Candy blog post, and she had like a, I did, and I was like, that is it. I kept thinking about it, so I had to go back today and see if they had it, and luckily they did. Because if you see something in Primark, it's a store that you have to get it, because if you go back, they have such a quick turnover that you might not see it again, but luckily they had it. And so this is the necklace that I was talking about, and I'm so pleased that I was able to get it. Um, and it was £2, and it's just a gold chain with this little deer on. I think it's so cute, the antlers. Um, so I got that. No! 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 Oh, phew, I thought I lost my staggering. Um, I got a staggering to match. And this was £2. <sighs> I nearly had a heart attack then. I thought I lost it. Um, and then I saw these, because you know I love my owl's necklace, so then I obviously won't wear these at the same time, but these little owl earrings and they were a pound so I think they're cute because they're not too big drop earrings so I think they'll be nice um, and then I've got this idea for this outfit that I want to wear and I saw it in the window of a really expensive shop um, like designer brands like Acne and Vivian Westwood and loads of stuff um, they sell like ash shoes and you know in an ideal world I would go in there and shop um, but I don't have the money to so basically it was an outfit where it had a it looked like a jersey material just plain maxi skirt in black then it looked like either a grey jersey again either t-shirt or tank top quite loose fitting with a pocket um, on the sort of left chest area and then they had this really thick 
um, woolen, sort of like open, boxy sort of shape, oversized cardigan with this silver chain with a skull on the end and then these shoes and I thought, oh, you know what, I really want to do that. So I don't have a maxi skirt so I thought what I could do is wear, I've got a black maxi dress so I'm going to wear a black maxi dress. Then I found this top in Primark um, which is like grey mull with a pocket so it's a tank and this was um, £3.50 so I'm going to wear the maxi dress then I'm going to wear this over top because the maxi dress is um, strapless so I'm going to wear this over top and I, and I do have like a grey sweater um, which I might wear over the top and then um, I saw these earrings and I thought they'd be really cute with it and they are just like a, a silver drop earring with like greyish and white feathers and these were two pounds because the other fair, fair earrings I have are like gold with brown and turquoise so I got those and then um, for another little grey accessory I got this bracelet which is like a cord bracelet and it's grey and it's £2.50 and um, it just looks like that and then um, I saw these shoes which were on sale and I wanted like I had espadrilles I think when I was younger and I wanted another pair of espadrilles and I saw these on sale black in two, in for two pound fifty in Primark. How good are these? So I got these size six, the little tie um, around the ankle. They're not that high, so they'll be really comfy. How nice are they? So I've sort of recreated the outfit I want to wear. I don't have a chain with a skull on, but I figured I'd wear it with that grey jewellery to make it a bit different. Um, so yeah, that was my ramble on about that outfit. Then I got this hair thing, because I want to do, um, it's you know, like one of these wire ones, and then you can, I don't know why it gets, you have a, like a tube. Oh, it's that big. Yeah, so like it's one of the wire ones, and this was um, one pound fifty. Because I want to do that look where you just like you have all your hair up in a messy high bun, then you can have like two. Um, you could have a quiff, you know, or like the fifties rolled look, and then have a little leopard print tie. I thought that would look really cute with like denim shorts and just stuff like that, just for, like to put your hair up on holiday or just on the weekend or something. But that's like a cute way to do it. And then I got this top too because I thought this would again be cute over my black maxi dress or or just with a little tank underneath or with a cute little bra under um, for the weekend. And this is just like a like sort of a cobalt blue tank with see-through panels. And I got that from Primark and that was £4. And then last but not least, I've got these shoes which are also in the sale for six pounds and they're just sort of like a mink and gold colour flat sandal and I got these because I had to chuck out recently um, some gold black gold leather sandals I got from Zara just because I wore them to death and they were ruined so I just sort of got those to replace them really um, is that everything? So that's my haul guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I know a lot of the stuff's in Primark and some of you guys don't have a Primark but I know that there are stores like this across the globe that are you know, cheap and inexpensive and stuff so you can have fun with your fashion but not spend too much money and that's what I like to do, you know, I take care of my clothes but I can't afford to get really nice designer stuff and I like to shop so um, I only spent today 27 so about 37 I only spent today about 40 pounds and that will be sort of my shopping really for me for the month um so in okay, case unless I like desperately need anything but I don't think I will um so I hope you guys enjoyed that let me know if you guys shop at Primark and what are some of your favourite finds there or if indeed you've tried that surf spray, let me know. Or if you do know of any other good surf sprays that aren't too expensive. Because I love the Bumble and Bumble one, but that's way too pricey. Um, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!